Howdy everybody, Jason Lash back again with another review. Today we're taking a look at Lucky Luke, number 72, Marshall Dalton. Now this involves Lucky Luke meeting Marshall Dalton, who is essentially the Dalton's Swiss uncle. Being Swiss, he has a fondness for chocolate and actually carries a cuckoo clock with him. Now, Marshall's a banker. Yeah, I'm fully aware of the irony, and I think so are the Daltons. Uh, but he has decided that he is going to give his nephews a second chance by having them help run his bank. We also discovered that Joe has a very int as a talent for, I guess, what would be considered origami. Uh, now... This mainly focuses on the trials and tribulations that Marshall has to deal with with a rival bankers by every bank in town except his. Also, another return uh, repetitive guy that plays in the story proper later is that Lucky Luke and Marshall keep getting attacked by outlaws with snake names. And every time Lucky Luke fights them, boom, boom, he shoots their suspenders, which actually involves both a suspender merchant and the person who Lucky Luke ends up buying his arrow from becoming quite wealthy. Overall, this is a fun and entertaining story. Sadly, at the end, even through through Marshall's best try, the Daltons revert back to their bank robbing ways. Uh, there's an interesting little Easter egg in here that's a throwback to a other Lucky Luke Adventures by a Rin Tin Can. As when Marshall and the Dalton his nephews show up at the prison, Brenton Can says as follows Billy the Kid, Roy Breen, Doc Doxley, Phil Wire, Ma Dalton, Jessa James. I'm assuming, I know some of them are, I think they all are, are various characters from other Lucky Luke adventures. Overall, I give Lucky Luke Adventure 75, Marshall Dalton. A five out of five. Well, it's time for this cowboy to hit the trail. So until next time, adios.